96.3 FM, The Source. Five minutes after, actually six minutes now after nine o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Jim George is here. If you've got a gadget that you bought for somebody and you want to set it up for that person and you are confused about something, this is a good time to get some advice. Jim George is here for that or any other electronic technical gadgetry kind of uh, question. The number is 622-9622 and uh, Jim George is a professional in this field. You've been doing electronic stuff for what? 50 plus years. 50 plus years, wow. Yep. That's longer than the Carol That's Burnett show has been around. No. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Fine, thank you, you. You ready for Christmas? I am ready. What are you looking at? I was just a bird. Oh, never mind. Bird flew by. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I saw that bird, yeah. yeah it's yeah. a nice looking bird. Yeah, British call them birds. <laughs> yeah, so does Larry. <laughs> when I'm on the air. Yeah. So how's everything? <clears throat> Good, great. Yeah, fantastic! Going to be a great Christmas this year. I hope everybody is uh, going to take a little bit of time off. I'm taking Monday and Tuesday both off. I'm just going to relax a little bit. Has the uh, technology world made things so idiot-proof that your kind of services? I don't mean everything you do, but I mean this one thing. Every year we say, "Call Jim for some information," but now it seems like they're getting a little bit easier to use. Well, they're easier to use, but they're still hard to hook up. You know, it's, ah, it's still okay. difficult. Let's say to make the timer on your VCR not flash, or if you have a Blu-ray um, now player instead of a, maybe a CD player, you know, they're, they're still difficult, especially if you want features that would uh, bypass. In other words, you want the speakers and the TV to not go through the to the sound bar, but then again, you do want it to go through the sound bar, and it has to be wired in such a way that mm. you, know, you could have either or. So on the wiring side, it's it's difficult, but once it's installed, yes, it's very easy. You just talk to it now. Oh, yeah, like see, a, I didn't Alexa. even know that part. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. They just, they Does just, it understand more than one language? Like if you spoke Spanish, <laughs> would it know how to do what it what you tell us to do? I think the software would allow you to change the software. Yes. Wow. That is amazing. It's like a dog. It? You ever seen a German Shepherd and they're in, in the, let's say, the military police in Germany? And they bring them over here and they have to speak German to them because that's the only command they that, know. That would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Only command they know. See, I actually saw this with Lucky the dog. Lucky the dog. Lucky the dog was my grandmother's well, dog. Couldn't have been too lucky. Yeah, no. Uh, well, he was lucky for a while. Hey, look who's here. Hans is here. Yes. See, <laughs> we said German and he shows up. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, so um, what was I going to say? Um, you actually gosh. saw this. Yeah. What was I saying? Lucky the dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. My grandmother was German and she had a dog she named Lucky and she yep. would talk German to it. So, yeah, the dog knew, I love you, and, yep. and do you have fleas? Well, those are the two things I remember, anyway. You have to ask the dog if it has fleas? I just remember. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember. Well, I am bitching over here, you know. Hast du fleas? I could ask Hans. Maybe Hans knows German. <laughs> Hast du fleas? Do you have fleas? Or ich liebe dich, I love you. Isn't that so? The dog, the dog was told he was Bilingual loved. already. Didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm bilingual with I love you. I can say hey. I love you in a few languages. Oh, oh. Je t'aime is French. How do you say in Spanish? How do you say I love you in Spanish? I have no idea. <laughs> um, There's a few things I don't want to know. Do you, you still know? have to do more shopping? I haven't done any shopping yet. I have been, been procrastinating thinking gift cards are, are going to be my way out. Only because my that children are all grown and you know right. they have something they want to get, they get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just give them a card and say, here, go shop, get what you want. I know it's very impersonal. I know that. I know. Don't go. No calls, please. But uh, it's just... It, it just makes it life better for me and for them because they don't have to go return that ugly sweater. I have a, a technical question to ask you. Mm -hmm. When we have devices that are rechargeable, right? right. Like, like I'm right now, I'm recharging this phone. I mean, this camera, see? <laughs> and it's a special plug and a special unit. If that thing dies, could I replace that with a generic one? Yes. Oh, you can? Yes. Now, how do you know which are the right ones? Well, if you still have the old one, you can take a picture of it and uh, like the, the, the wall wart itself, the transformer. Um, you call it a wall wart? Yeah, wall wart. Okay. 
because, you know, it's like a wart on the wall, like a wart on your hand, you know? <laughs> right. All right. Um, it will tell you the specifications that it's seven volts or a minus five or whatever it is. And then the other end of the plug will tell you, will show the um, the manufacturer whether it's a three millimeter, five millimeter, seven millimeter, what kind of pin it is. Ah, okay. And then you can go online and just type in, uh, you know, send a picture and say, this is what I need. Oh, ah, okay. But there is a book. We have a universal transformer book. And we replace any transformer. Because I can remember back once upon a time when I would have, for example, I had a four-track, believe it or not, Rob and I used to use this all the time, a four-track cassette recorder. Do you remember them at all? Oh, boy, yes, I do. Is that before you? No. Uh, not before no. your time, but I mean, is that something no. that wouldn't have crossed your path? No, we would have, it would have crossed. And I think ours still works. We still have ours. Yeah. But, but it had a special kind of charger. And when I lost it, I think, I couldn't find one anywhere that would replace it. I, I, I think I found it eventually. So Yeah. Yeah, no batteries, by the way. You had to have the, the mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. The, the, the electric part of it. So so yeah. that is part of it. If, um, if anybody has a question for Jim, this is a good time to call, 622-9622. But after this... You're out of luck because Jim's got a life of his own, right? right that's true. That's true. Well, I want people to remember the reason for the season. You know, it, yes, it's gift giving time, but it's also to remember the birth of Christ. You know, and when uh, we've been, we said last week, maybe a good thing for the family to do when they get together is to read the the story in Luke chapter two to mm -hmm. their to their kids to remind them that it was a starry night, and you know, the Mary and Joseph, you know, were in the barn, and so on, you know, so on and so forth. Do you know that we did a, a Christmas CD several years ago? Mm, the, the radio station? I don't remember. But oh, really? Huh. So Doug is actually on it. Oh, my goodness. And Doug reads the book of the story from the book of Luke. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That must be. Yeah, I need to get one of them. Oh, my gosh. Well, you don't. I, I, well, I think we have some in the yeah, back room. Yeah, I'll give you one. Oh, I'll yeah. We, you, you got it. <laughs> I don't know how many we have. Remember, so. today only sale item. You buy one, send one, you know. There you go. <laughs> Are you going to be working outdoors today? I am going to be working outdoors. I've got to put an outside light and a, a switch uh -huh. to operate it and everything to crawl under a mobile home. and. Oh. But it's okay. It rained yesterday. It should not be too bad under there. I mean, it's going to be bad, but it should mm -hmm. not be too bad. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Do you have, like, plastic or something that you, or, or visqueen that you put under areas when you have to work in the muddy situations? Sometimes I have to do that, yes. Uh -huh. Most of the times I just grunt and bury it. I'm already wearing my old dirty clothes. Oh, you my You know, the gosh. ones that have stains on them that won't come out. Oh, yeah. And I'll just crawl into there, and, and I threaten to throw these away. The first of the year is coming. I am definitely going to throw away all my... 2018 shirts and pants and buy new ones because they're just so gross. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, they're clean as far as wash, but they're stained beyond repair. Mm -hmm. you know, and then you go into a place with all those stains and people wonder, where have you been? <laughs> have you ever had to do any kind of wiring or anything in places that they don't have adequate ventilation? Oh, yes. I've crawled in a lot of attics that uh -huh. uh, I didn't think I'd ever get out. I remember I did a nursing home in Gainesville right next to the uh, the the Win Dixie home, it's a similar to the um, Ma Ronald McDonald house where people go, but when they have cancer and they stay there, oh. and I crawled in the attic there, and I thought for sure I was not going to get out, and I was about uh -huh. ready to bust the sheetrock to come out the top. I mean, I just, oh my but gosh. I finally made it out because uh -huh. I'm a fat boy, and your fat boy should not be in attics. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was kind of looking the other way. So when I turned around, he said that. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Oh, okay. I, was, I was looking for the song with Doug. I just heard Fat Boy in the Attic. So. <laughs> well, that That's the name of the song. It sounds like a rap song. It sounds like a rap song. Yeah. 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 Rap on the ceiling. Let me out. <laughs> so can, can I show you the thing Doug Sure. Did? Yeah. All right, all right. This, I'll try to make it real. Let's see. Here we go. You know, I don't think I could have asked for a That's better me. Christmas Eve and to be here with my two good friends, Robin and Doug, and three nice big mugs of hot chocolate. Boy, this is good stuff. Wow, I had a great time before Christmas. <laughs> and sitting here, I enjoy the, uh, the good memories, what we had in the past. Oh, man, so touching. Thank God I have uh, such a good friends we have to share all of this lifetime. Good friends and hot chocolate, what a beautiful way to spend our Christmas holidays. You know, every year we do read the Christmas story. And Doug, your reading skills have really improved this year. Why don't you be the one to read from the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 10 through 14. Okay, Robin, I will give it a try.
behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. There you go. Unbelievable. Fantastic. That's a tearjerker right there. I yeah, guarantee it. For those who don't know, Doug is, uh, has Down syndrome. And he's, what, 57 years old? Uh, 58. 58 already? Wow. wow. And have you already planned something with him this year, or is this family? He's going to spend the night. He's going to spend the night, <laughs> Christmas Eve, Christmas Day night, uh-huh. and then I bring it back to the group oh, home the fantastic. day after Christmas. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's such a... a, a Sweet soul, he really, really is. I know when I did the work for him in the outside yard, he was and put the antenna up for him. He was fascinated by everything I did. <laughs> right, oh, right, yeah. right. Followed me around like a little puppy dog. How do you do this? How do you do? Oh, look at that! You know. And, <laughs> oh, he loves you. And, yeah, and he, he, he couldn't wait to turn the TV on to see all the things he had, like a gift. Every channel was a gift. That's oh yes, that's a good way to say it. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. yes. every channel was a gift. And speaking of which, by the way, if you have somebody on your list of gift receiving. Who, um, you know, they're spending too much on cable, and no offense to what you do for a living, Jim, but some right. people can't afford it. Right. That you recommended to these antennas, and they're like a one time, you pay what, $80 maybe, one time? Yeah, one time. And then you have channels, you don't, maybe you don't get HBO, but you get lots of local channels. You do. And the taller you put it up, the more channels you get. Yeah, and this is not, you're not selling, this is other no. people you recommend, right? There's a gentleman, there's several, uh, like at Marion Markets of Marion. Uh, one's Ken Zantana, mm-hmm. and uh, he sells them. And uh, he actually puts them up if you need him to. He's in his 80s, and he still puts up antennas. Is that right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Still puts up antennas. And his wife does sewing, and he was telling me that she does hemming of pants and things like that. I said, well, when I get my new pants <laughs> next, for next year, I will uh-huh. bring them down because they, I'm hard to fit. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's hard to get big, round, and short. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! No, uh, you're. Great I have my own. Too. I have my own challenges with clothing. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> yeah, but the, as active as you are and everything, you're in great shape because I you're am in crawling great shape. in the dirt on ditch, in ditches. You're up in attics. You're on roofs. Uh, gosh, yep. you're just all yep. over. I'm the place. in great shape. The God has been good to me. I really am in great shape. I, uh, I mean, I'm fat and I can't lose any weight. And the diets don't work for me. I guess I'm big bones. Some people call it, you know, but. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, fat likes to stick to me. Doesn't like to go away. <laughs> me too. Me yeah, too. I got a, I got a problem with that too. Yeah. But I can do the work. That's for sure. <laughs> do you have any special channels uh, that you're going to install on your cable system that will be just holiday channels? Not necessarily a holiday channel, but we have uh, we have, we carry over twenty what some people would like to call religious channels, but they're they're like Lifetime movie channel, a Hallmark okay. channel, mm-hmm. um, you know, feel good channels, you might say. But we have them in different languages, and I don't mean just those two in different languages, but like oh. we have we have channels straight from Brazil, channels straight from Ireland. Oh my gosh! That are, that are that type of family orientated movies mm-hmm. uh, or, or channels, and so um, people will be able to. Uh, get languages, channels in their own language. We have one lady who pays, uh, I think it's $55 a month, she pays to DirecTV to get four Korean channels. Oh, my. I am go- I'm going to be streaming about 10 Korean channels uh-huh. and uh, for less than that. And are those channels going to be similar to what DirecTV and, and like Time Warner has, or do you have different channels? They'll be different. Yeah, that'd uh-huh. be different because I'm dealing straight with the countries of origin. Like we have 55 Chinese channels. Oh. And if you think you've seen color, uh-huh. wait till you see a Chinese channel. Really? More Un- colorful? Unbelievable. Really? Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. You know, Art Deco, we, it, to me, was like black and white. Well, these channels will make our color look black and white. Really? Oh, my gosh. Wow. Unbelievable. Do you know another that one amazing. that kind of outdoes something we're used to? Like we're used to the Weather Channel. 
Mm-hmm. But you should see the Spanish Weather Channel. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. That's a good one. <laughs> Whenever my wife goes <laughs> shopping, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, she comes and say, you watching the cha- Weather Channel? Uh, yeah. I said, well, yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, it's kind of <laughs> colorful, you know. <laughs> it's more colorful, for sure. Yeah. All right, you ready for the phone? Yes. Good morning. You're on the air with Jim George. Yes, good morning. I just want to wish everybody on this program a, a nice Christmas and a happy new year. Uh, I, I enjoyed the program all year round, and uh, uh, I just hope everybody has a great time. <laughs> ah, thank you. That's so nice. Thank you. You know, uh, you guys were talking about giving gifts. Uh, you know, like I, my shopping, too, is right towards the end. And uh, with the grandkids and that, uh, the best thing is just uh, give them money, let them do what they want to do, because <laughs> nowadays it's just oh, it's, it's almost impossible to get something that uh, they'll like, you know. But uh, I, I got a kick here a couple of years back when I went up to Wisconsin to visit uh, the, the, the grandkids. Uh, we all went out to, to a pizza restaurant, and uh, uh, a- after we had our pizza, I always give uh, the three grandkids uh, a money uh, a check, you know, a $100 bill and a money, a money envelope. And uh, when my, my when my grandson, he was about six, I think, at the time, opened it up, and he looked at the $100 bill, and he talked real loud to everybody in the restaurant could hear him. He said, gee whiz, I didn't think Grandpa was so so, so, so uh, wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Children but, are uh, wonderful. I love what yeah, they say. Yes. They are who make us wealthy. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. He's right. right. But like I say, the, the best gift is uh, let the kids do their, their thing, you know, and uh, uh, then everybody's happy and it makes it easier on on, uh, on, on the other, on our end here, you know. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. you can always yeah. give away brocks and cheese, you know, you never, you got that. There you go. Heritage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been lucky enough here just lately, uh, being from Wisconsin, uh, I've gotten several uh, uh, hunks of cheese and sauces and stuff in the, in the mail, and uh, I'll be, uh, I'm my wife is going to, she's leaving for up north uh, to Milwaukee this afternoon, but I'll be down here alone with my dogs. But I guess I'll be living on uh, Miller High Life and cheese and brats and uh, oh sausage for the next three or four days. <laughs> there you go. You singers. That sounds good. That sounds <laughs> good. Okay, well, hey, have a nice Christmas, uh, everybody. Thanks, thank you. Hey, thank you, Hugh. On your cable system, will you have parental controls? Yes. Yeah, so you can not only subscribe to the channel that you want, you know, and not have to pay for, let's say, 140 if you only want 10. But um, you can bl- blank that channel. In other words, the TV will go to it. The remote will go to it, and it will say blocked. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then when you get back, the problem with all the, uh, that stuff, is you know, is remembering passwords. Maybe at your age, you don't have trouble remembering passwords. Oh, I do. Uh, I, I talked to him. <laughs> I, I forget them all the time. I talked to a guy yesterday. He told me he has the same password for his checking account. Everything is the same pet because he had accounts he couldn't get back into because he couldn't remember the, the, the you know. Uh-huh. That sounds like me. And I have a whole sheet. Actually, I have two, several sheets with nothing but passwords printed on them. <sighs> That's um, what I should do. Just yeah, so I that I could, you know, remember them. And I, I keep one in my glove box because a lot of times when you call in for a complaint, maybe it's your Verizon phone, maybe whatever it is, they ask you, what's your password? Or what's your pen number? I know you go, everything. I have no everything. idea. Password, you tell pen, me you can't uh, look at it? Come account on. Account number, <laughs> I know. Last four digits, your birthday, your grandmother's name, your first nephew's name. Uh, and that is a real question. What is the name of your firstborn nephew? Yeah. Wow. I had that on one of my bank accounts. So I know. They ask me questions. I don't even know the answer to it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never mind. Well, I remember up. my it nephew's name. Up. I just... It's just like, are you kidding me? I mean, that, that is a crazy question because anybody would know your firstborn nephew. Mm. Mm-hmm. Usually, I mean, somebody who's in the family would know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, when people are hooking up their phones to their cars, do you have to install something special for that so you stick them on there? No, um, I've, I don't really get involved in most of the automobile stuff. I guess Matt does, you know, over at Sunrise. Uh-huh. But uh, I think that's pretty well automatic. It's a part function of your your cell phone itself. You tell it. Oh, to do this and you tell it to do that it does it but i I don't really know because i don't have a i I don't usually listen to the radio when i'm in the car unless it is um a talk radio program Mm -hmm. or if it's the holiday like it is now christmas i listen to the music do you ever listen to talk radio when they're talking about a subject that you're not really interested in but it's the only talk show on and you just you, you let it play once in a while I do, it depends on the characters that are talking, uh-huh, uh-huh. you know, or where, where I think they're going with this. <laughs> a lot of times I'll just turn it off and tell my wife, I can't believe the amount of crazy people America has hatched. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, crazy. If, it's politi- if it's political, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. But you know what? I like the non-political ones. I like, uh, like um, oh gosh, we, we run it on the weekend, on Sundays, uh, the Money Pit. 
the, they talk about fixing your house and, and oh, getting really? yeah that's a good one or or some of the other like the car shows and uh, oh I like the car I like the Click and Clack Brothers yes oh, yes yeah. I've heard them they're, yeah they're funny yeah. yeah I like them it is it is fun to listen to it is it is stuff other than political because stuff. they don't just ask what's your problem and let me help you fix it you know where are you from what seem and then a lot of them want to keep the information from their husband or wife will call and says my husband says the problem is I'm lead footed and blah blah and after they're <laughs> oh. all done they say your husband was right you're lead footed that's what's causing your brake problem so I think <laughs> I think of Brenda your wife all the time because on Saturday I think it is we have a dog guy and he. Uh, answers a uh, pet guy and he answers questions about pets mm-hmm. and and brenda did that one day for 10 minutes yep remember yeah, that yep. was <laughs> that i was tell you she she knows those animals i can tell you that we went to the uh cep last night the chamber of commerce after oh, hours oh and they had lucky the um horse the little and it's a little shetland did she have fleas oh. did she have fleas and uh, now, no, is it a didn't. miniature horse? It's a little. And my wife was trying to tell me all about the dog. It's a briar or whatever the name of it was. I said, "What? What? You don't know what that means?" And I go, "No, I've never heard of it. Oh, it's a famous horse." It blah blah blah. Oh my! There's only ten in the world that can do these things. Around. Wow! And so she, is that a local she, farm? I guess it is. So it's a it's a uh, therapy horse that goes into the nursing home. Oh really? Oh my! And they had two or three therapy dogs there last night. Uh-huh. That are there all the time, but they came back, of course, for the event last night, mm-hmm. and I, it was just a treat. We were in line with all the old ladies and gentlemen that were that, that are there, and they were they were taking advantage also of the food that was there, and they're mm-hmm. authorized to do that. Uh-huh. And there was one lady, and she was, she had a walker, and. Uh, she was right a little bit behind me, not quite. I was on the side, and I said, no, go ahead. I said, I'm no fool. I'll follow a pretty young lady everywhere, you know. We, <laughs> she was laughing. She was probably And then my out. wife helped her get her plate and everything else, <laughs> helped her sit down. And She was laughing, but she was really creeped she, out, Jim. Yeah, she, we were having fun. <laughs> you were night. creeping her out. <laughs> what was it? What was it? I was going to ask you something. Now. Mm, just drove Was mic. it about being creepy? Or? Yeah, something about being creepy. <laughs> Well, anyway, the, so, so the CEP, the After Hours for the Chamber of Commerce, is a great event. I might as well give them a toot while we're here. Um, it brings the business people together, and they get to share cards mm-hmm. and talk. And I, one of the ladies that went, uh, I talked to her this morning under different auspices, and she was saying she got three good leads last night for some work that she wants to do. Well, that's oh, good. So, you know, so it, it does pay to be a member of the Chamber of Commerce. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't pay me to be a member of Dun & Bradstreet, so I turn them down every year. And well, say, that's I right. Know. I mean, the networking should be local, I think. It yeah. makes sense for business. Well, do I care what a guy in New York wants to find out about me, <laughs> you know? Oh, by the way, here's what I want to tell you. You were talking about uh, emotional support animals? Yeah. Okay, Popeyes is now at the airports offering emotional support chicken, just in case you want a box. <laughs> that was a great story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can get this box, and it's all cooked and ready to go, and you bring it on the it, plane it's, with you. It's definitely com- <laughs> comforting. It's it's The whole idea is to comfort you on the flight. Food, yeah. <laughs> it's great. I, I love that I've never marketing. heard of that story. I'm yeah. A, I may have to p- rewind that. But the emotional support chicken. Yeah, I asked a guy the other day about an invention I thought I had. He said, Jim, they already have that. And I said, no, I've never seen that. He said, that's because you have an old car. But I was thinking, how oh. about a car that when you are on a channel and you're listening to the radio, it's actually being recorded in a thumb drive that you plug in. And then if you miss the advertisement, you just hit pause, rewind, really? and listen to it again. And there is such a thing. And, and he that? says they have that. I said, I have never <laughs> seen such a thing. I have never I seen that. Either. He said, oh, yeah, they've had them for years. Oh, I go, on the radio. So I'm going to have to go to some so. car lot. But why them. a commercial? Yeah. Why don't you listen to the programming? Well, even the program, it's uh, just uh, what if you wanted to listen to a music channel on your car radio that you could record on a thumb drive? And when you get out of the car, you bring it in the house, and you and you play back all the channel, all the yeah, yeah, music yeah. you were listening to. Speaking of music, that's our job on Christmas. We're going to do Christmas songs nonstop. Wonderful. Yes, we are. Christmas yeah. Day. Well, I'm going to have you on for sure. Going to be fun. And guess what? We found this Uh-oh. amazing archive of Christmas songs from the 1940s. I I didn't I couldn't believe we found this. So, <laughs> so Rosemary Clooney and Bing Crosby and. Probably. I don't guys, even know yeah. all of them. 
Yeah, all those guys. Be fantastic. Love that. Some of them are Wonderful. even from old radio shows. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you still have the the announcer and the cigarette commercials and all that other stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, it's so. pretty amazing. Yeah, the Wonderful. war bonds, the war bonds uh, announcements yep. and all that. I'll yeah. be tuned in. I'll be one of the one of the crowd. Thank are you. you. Cooking? I'll think. What's that? Are you cooking Christmas Day? I am cooking. I always cook. My wife can't even boil water. So <laughs> I hope she's not listening. <laughs> yeah, you better hope. You're gonna have no Christmas. <laughs> You're going to have coal in your stocking. That's right. Jim, thank you for all what you right, do for you. us all year long. You are an amazing friend and, and such a fun part of our well, broadcast. Well, have fun week. with Doug. I, I'm going to really hope that you guys have a great time together. Well, thank you for saying Our that. Our chocolate and watching TV. <laughs> oh, and he, he's coming over. To, Larry and him are coming over to my mom's Christmas Eve. Oh, celebrate wow. it with my family. Fantastic. And then Larry's taking Doug over to his family Christmas Day. Wonderful. With all the children and everything. Doug's going to be in be hog heaven. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll have it. Plus, I told him if I fall asleep in church, you got to wake me up. Yeah, wake me up. Yeah, going to church, too. That's one of the uh, Christmas things. Eve service or yep. just Christmas Day? Christmas Eve. Eve. I go with Robin and her mom. Yeah, I yeah. go Christmas Eve also. All right. Thank God you, God bless Jim. everyone. Thank- all all will help with the go. God bless everyone. All. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Here is your one-minute news brief. A tornado damaged 80 homes in a mobile home park in Pasco County, and a 90-year-old woman was taken to a hospital after a roof fell on her head during yesterday's severe weather. Florida's incoming Governor Ron DeSantis wants to order a pardon for the Groveland Four, joining the bandwagon initiated by incoming Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed. A former Orlando firefighter who recorded the 911 call of a patient who turned out to be a city commissioner is now facing charges in that case. A paramedic in Volusia County has resigned after allegations that she acquired nude photos of co-workers as insurance if she ever needed to blackmail someone to get out of trouble. Florida's election officials say they will start adding former felons to their voter rolls and Bush Gardens Tampa Bay has revealed the lineup for their 2019 Real Music Real Masters concert series including Thomas McClary, The Commodore's Experience and Herman's Hermits starring Peter Noon. And that is your news brief from The Source. Freddy's Steak Burger, the cornerstone of the great American menu. Only the highest quality ingredients, cooked to order. Welcome to Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers, the taste that brings you back. Ah, say it again. Freddy's Specialty Sundays, classic American treats, made with freshly churned, rich and creamy frozen custard. Welcome to Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers, the taste that brings you back. Attention WOCA listeners. Do you or someone you know have an outgoing personality with great organizational skills? Well, WOCA is looking for a few good people to join our marketing reps team. You get to meet other great people and business leaders in our community. WOCA Radio offers flexible schedules, great